just passed I can't even think straight I've just passed uh, check in and I'm just waiting now on the other side so I just needed a minute to process that all it was really 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 hard to leave them all I mean fucking well to me and I'm really really gonna miss them it's a lot to take in a lot to take in I don't really have many words it's gonna be a good journey My friend did a little hard thing for me. I'm looking at two cameras. <laughs> Please don't cry, classic. I miss you too, babes. Thank you, you're so beautiful.
้มันเคยจับเลยเจ้าก็ตามเรียนตีห้าตัวบอลมาสองใบI've arrived in Bangkok. I arrived yesterday at about five o'clock in the evening, and I'm currently in my hostel right now, and kind of just trying to figure out what I'm going to do tonight. Um, the hostel is really nice, quite quiet. Um, it's not, it's not a mad hostel. Like there's actually not that many people staying here. I booked it on Booking.com, and it's called Sloth Hostel. Really nice hostel. I mean, the bed. Get a proper blanket and everything and I had a really good night of sleep last night so but anyway when I arrived uh, it was a little bit wild going around the airport um, I was kind of trying to get my bearings got through fine and then got a taxi and I even in the taxi I was like pranging out big time because the guy was like on the phone while he was driving and then he was texting and then I was just like what is he doing and then there was people and there's like a three lane road and it wasn't three lanes there was four car four like lanes of cars but it's a three lane road so it's a bit wild when you first get here obviously being a solo traveler um I've, which i've never done before it was quite a shock because i i was quite you know anxious about getting in the taxi on my own and things like that but it was fine and the guy was really nice so i arrived didn't really want to go out because it was night time so i just had a shower and then got my stuff all sorted and then went round the shop got some water uh, got some beers um and then just went and sat on the rooftop in the hostel and had a couple of beers um met a couple and they were really lovely and then this morning got up got ready and then one of the guys i met in the hostel daniel thank you daniel he showed me around bangkok uh this early afternoon so just had a walk around which was really nice so thank you for that and, and then after that i just came back got some more bits ready and then went to a vegan and vegetarian restaurant just down the road which was really tasty I had a buddha bowl and it you you obviously saw it it was so nice but it was a massive bowl it was like that's probably like the size of my head in fact bigger but yeah anyway it was amazing so now I'm gonna end my vlog I hope you enjoyed watching you know all the emotions that I went through and if you're gonna be going solo traveling then probably expect to feel that way and the family as well but the only way I can explain the feeling of when I left my family and got here it was like a pinch me and my still dreaming kind of feeling like I was just like this is so surreal and like it still doesn't feel real but it feels like a dream and it feels like I'm going to wake up and this never happened it's really really strange but it's a very empowering and lovely feeling just follow your dreams and don't ever let anybody stop you because you will you will regret it. Just follow the dream and experience it and just love the journey because this is just the beginning for me. So it's gonna be really like amazing to see what I'm gonna be doing next. The city's not really my favorite kind of place, so I'm really looking forward to going down south to the islands, but that will be in a few days. So yeah, anyway, I hope you liked my vlog and take care wherever you are and I hope you've had a lovely day wherever you are in the world. See you soon. Bye.